Now we're going to go over setting up an eBay account. Now it's time for you to learn how to register for an eBay account and how to sign in successfully. If you go to the website, which is www.ebay.com, you'll go to the main eBay home screen. When you get there, uh, you'll notice in the top left hand corner there's an icon that says sign in slash or register. If you click the register button, it will take you to another page where you will fill in some personal information. Uh, here you'll be able to create an eBay account and a username. If you scroll through, you'll notice um, you'll need to supply your name, where you live, uh, so forth and so on. After that, you will see a place to put your email address. In the email address line, you'll want to make sure that you type in your most current email address and the one that you check most frequently. The email address you supply here uh, is the address that eBay will use to send your confirmation password, username, and any other feedback or questions that may come up. So make sure that you supply them with the best email address and the one that you'll be using uh, for a long time to come. If you scroll down on the page a little bit more, uh, you'll see that you will need to choose a username and a password. When you create your eBay username or your ID, it can be anything you want as long as it has not been taken by another user. Make sure that when choosing a username uh, that it not be too trendy or confusing. Um, it must also be one that is easy to spell, easily recognizable, and one that you and others uh, will not forget. Once you've chosen your username and password, make sure you write them down and store them somewhere. You won't misplace them. It's shocking how many people quickly forget usernames. And when you're under the gun, the last thing you want to do is go searching for your password. Once you're done with this step, you can scroll down a little further where it asks of you to provide a secret question. Uh, this is in case you do forget or misplace your username and password. Your secret question is just a little extra security provided to you by eBay. Now, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page to access the user agreement between you and eBay. It's recommended that you read this so that you know what you are legally responsible for and the legalities involved on eBay side of the contract. Uh, if you don't want to read through the user agreement, just click in the button and a file will be downloaded for you to look over. Once you've read through the terms and agreements, click on the I agree button to accept the terms. Now go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and you can click on the register button to finish registration. Once you finish this process, EB will send you a confirmation email to the address you provided. Uh, when you check your email, you will see that it is very easy to confirm. After you've followed all these steps, you'll be able to come back to eBay and sign in using your uh, new username and password. This is done by clicking on the sign in link, which was located next to the register link on eBay's homepage. Once you're signed in, you'll have full access to the eBay auctions.